Check one, two, check one, two. Check one, two, check one, two. Check one, two. Judge wants me to try to finish her within the month coming up. This is on Rana's case, the terrible Bojix case. Um, so I told her we do our best to try to get at least get him scheduled by the next conference, which is mid March. Hey, Vic.
two days, and two consecutive days in this prep, and then any other prep you want to do, once I get the EDP day schedule, which I'm going to have to now start reaching out to Dr. Lana, it's, it's big fucking, we get a $7,500 class. So, uh, I also did some research, but evidently, you know, Jeff's used them twice. He's used this Betty Cornacek, Betty Cornacek, who used to work for Heidel here. And there's another guy, Michael something, who he wasn't as thrilled with because he told me that he didn't even know anything about New York civil procedure or law or anything. So, I've, I've been chatting back and forth with Carrie. Craig on this. So she had said Betty would be choice A, but I could go to a Mark Lucerto as a second choice if I can't make a schedule anymore with, with Betty. Um, I don't know anything about these people, but they, they seem to put a lot of credence in this, which I think is going to be a lot of, you know, talk clearly and looking straight in the eye. I don't know. Maybe, I, whatever. I'm doing it because Jeff Burson, this is a big thing he wants to do. I, I do not like this case. I, he's going to do a lot of crap. It's very, it, the, the, the medicine is terrible. We have issues. You know, I think it's Where is everybody? Hello, Azizana. Follow me. <laughs> He's setting up everything. <laughs> oh, I fell. Hi, Haley. Hi, how are you? She knows a lot. I mean, she knows she remembers every fucking word you know. You call my name yet? Mm. What happened to the host? Where'd he go? No, that's somebody else. Oh, oh, everybody's saying hi. Can everybody hear me? So, uh, yeah. Anybody? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you, Dan. Let's see. Where's... I think I finally hear people. Is everybody there? I mean, I was yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, I couldn't hear anybody before.
going to wait a little bit. We got some people coming in that I know are running a little late. So. Again, we're just waiting on some people. I'm gonna unmute everybody just so if you guys wanna talk, you can. If you don't, you can put yourself back on mute. <laughs> uh. How do you put it back on mute? Yes, there's John. John's got the hat and McDonald's hat on. <laughs> and uh and we're, we're gonna give it to about 405 and we'll start we got some people popping in i don't want to go now i hear you guys hey hey dan hey john love the hat man thank you i i went into my archives so i see you get, get one of my mcdonald's hat. oh i see you have the otp shirt i love it uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it's my, this is my, uh, Zoom, Zoom shirt going on. It's, I got back in 2012. <laughs> so I love it. When I got my OTP surf, I was, I, I believe, I think I was the first Macapco OTP ever. <coughs> wow. Yeah. Across the whole country. <laughs> so love it. Love it. When, when, when I, when I, <laughs> And I came in uh, and they said, what, what organization are you from? And I said, Macapco. And everybody just looked at me like I had some sort of disease. <laughs> so so, so I, spoke, I got really friendly with uh, Nate Ostendorf over there. at, at, at uh, And he's still there to this day. Uh -huh. um, he goes, Dan, I don't think Macapco has ever sent anybody to anything like this anywhere in the country. And I was like, listen, uh, you, know, you, know, you know Mike Bach. Mike Bach was like, I said, Mike, just send me, send me. We can save money, send me. And he's like, oh, okay, I'll send you. So he sent me and uh, I've been keeping it up ever since. So now it's uh, almost 10 years later with my OTP certification. Yeah, it's crazy. It, it, it feels like yesterday. Yeah, Benjamin. <laughs> 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 We're just going to give it a couple more minutes and see how if we got sure. some stragglers coming on in. No uh, worries. I'm here. How's everything going by you, all right? Good, busy, busy. Yeah, well, it's always busy. Busy, busy. Yeah. Uh, last week, well, I've been trying to do this uh, like once a month. Uh, this, is, this is actually only our second one. Okay, where are you in a in a restaurant? Looks like a restaurant. Oh no, that's my green screen. That's my that's my I'm hiding. Ah, uh, I want people to know where I am. So <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so um. I gotta learn. I gotta learn how to do that here in uh, Zoom land. Oh, I, I'll teach you. No problem. Oh, I just figured it out. <laughs> there you go. Uh, mirror my video. What do you go to a green screen? Uh, well, I have a green screen. You don't have a green screen. No, I don't. So you're gonna have to use what's called the virtual background. Okay. So if you go to virtual background, you can pick like a scene. Let's see if they have a better selection than. Uh... You look oh. at it all. But, um, music. I hear good music. I, hear, I, hear, I don't do a lot of music. That must be Jess with music. I don't know. <laughs> Jess's, Jess's volume isn't on. Hold on. Where's Jess? There you go. You get you get unmute. No, it's not Jess. <laughs> I, love, I love P. I, I, I don't understand this time and you know time of year and and all this stuff going on with COVID and 
and Zoom and, and WebExes and web meetings that people are still having issues logging on to a Zoom meeting. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, they still do. Having a hard time to join meeting have been trying since 350. Uh, Hi, Usario. Hey, Elizabeth. Um, Hola. So uh, for, for those of you guys who don't know John, John is our learning uh, learning consultant from Hola. Uh, McDonald's Hola. Hola. He's Hola. the one that kind of teaches everybody <laughs> about what we're doing wrong. So. <laughs> well, I, I also praise what you're doing right. So. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, Jessica. She's like, why is he calling my name? Uh, give me a second. Somebody's calling me now. We get to try and get on. Is there a person on here that says iPhone? Who's that? Who's iPhone? That's your name? Um, Azucena. Azucena, ¿cómo está? Bien, ¿y tú? Ya tú sabes aquí. Tranquilo, <laughs> tranquilo, tranquilo. Oh, somebody has good music. <laughs> Who's Al LaRocca? Hey, Al. I'm here. How you doing, Al? Good. How are you? I'm good. Nice to not see you. <laughs> I don't know if they wanted the camera on or off. I don't know. That's up to Dan. He's on the <laughs> phone right now. We'll see. You, I, I put it off so this way you're not interrupted by people walking by. Oh, uh, that's okay. Put it on for a second so I can see who you are. Oh, I like that cat. Whose cat is that? <laughs> I mean, that's not my cat, bro. I just found that on the internet. Hi, Angelina. Angelina, I like the cat. Angelina. Thanks. I don't know if I'm talking or not. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I we hear you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's more people on. Haley. We got Haley, Amanda. Oh, yeah. Jacqueline. Last time last time we had uh, 25 or 26 logins with over 30 people. Uh, so I love it. So that's good. I, I, you remember you got it or no? Dan. Dan. All right. <laughs> Get off your phone. Dan. Can you see me now or no? Uh, I don't see you, Al. No. Who's called? Who's call? <laughs> Daniel, who's calling me? Me, Anna. I need the meeting ID, the number thing. What's so your I email? Huh? What's your email? You have it. It's called P A O L E double T. Okay, so you know we have nine stores, and we know we have about thirty-five Annas, and I can't see you. P A O. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm sending it right now to you again. Again, you I never got email. it. In the first you, place. you heard that, right? Again. <laughs> I never got it in the first place, but okay. Yes, you did. Yeah, it's a change. There you go. Do you Just see an email from Danny here? All right, I'm gonna, we're going to start about three got minutes, it. guys. So, three um, minutes, I'm going to mute everybody and then we'll it up again. We're going to eat that enough. Get the wings. I'm already muting you, so. Yeah. I don't even know the rules to this game anymore. It's been so long. There's, yeah, there's rules. Rachel, oh, we got a lot of people today. Woo. You can um, take off. Um, oh my goodness! I, I gotta set this so everybody. Can Hello. 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 Hey, Rachel. Hi. Hey, Hicksville McDonald's. One of my favorite McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Let's go to the crew. Hi, Ibrahim. I, I love hey, Angelina's hey, little image there. The little cat with the hat on. I know. I love it. I was telling <laughs> Angel Angelina that I love it. I just found it on the internet. I don't know. That's not my cat. Oh. 
I thought it was your cat. <laughs> no. It's a cool cat with a hat on. <laughs> that guy's chilling. It's, de- it's definitely a New Yorker hat. Definitely. definitely. A New Yorker cat, I should say, not hat. Please. So it looks like we got about 22 participants so far and multiple people on the phone. So it looks like we're going to break last month's record. So very so cool. that's good stuff. I, ho- I hope that everybody is, is getting, got something out of the last meeting. Um, we did go over the last meeting. We went over uh, um, customer complaints um, and how we are doing. Uh, um, we're doing better that this month than we were last month, thank the Lord. Uh, but um, uh, last month was not uh, not very good for us as far as uh, customer complaints are concerned. Um, but we are starting to turn around those rude employee numbers, and I'll have some more numbers uh, for the next meeting. I want to get a little bit more of a little bit more of a baseline there. Um, uh, and then we also went over the, um, the shake machine and the daily cleaning of the shake machine. Now, I don't know if any of you have been, um, you know, have been following up on that over the past, we, it's been a month since our last meeting. So how have you guys been doing with the, the cleaning of the shake machine and, and on, on a daily basis? Have you guys tried it? Have you done it? Let me know what you think. Awesome. <laughs> so, so I guess nobody has done it from the, from the lack of people are just shy. Um, you know, it, it's really important that we do that. And it is on, it is on the YouTube page um, that I put up for all the meetings. Um, I'm going to mute everybody again. Everybody's there. I'm going to mute everybody. And we're going to start this meeting. All right. And uh, John, I'll leave you uh, off mute if I can find you again. Where are you? JT, right? There you go, JT, unmuted. Okay. So JT, you're, John, you're unmuted. So you're free to jump on in whenever whenever you want to jump in. No problem. All right. So um, let's get started. So first of all, uh, thanks, everyone, for joining today's meeting. Um, yeah, as you know, last month I started something out called the Hot Topic. So um, our hot topic this month is going to be Fred Campus and how it relates to your development. Um, however, we're going to skip the equipment corner this month because we have a special guest today. We have uh, JT or John Tolentino, um, who is our learning consultant from McDonald's. Uh, he is going to be showing us some stuff about campus uh, and Fred paths for crew trainers and ship leadership. So even though we have some guests with us, and I know I promised that we were going to go over the shake syrup line cleaning uh, this month. Um, however, I'm going to post the video that I made on the YouTube page um, so you guys can view it at your own leisure and maybe we'll do it at the uh, next meeting in February. Um, so if you don't know what the YouTube page I'm talking about, let's go over to the computer and I'll share my screen uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. Screen, okay. And now you guys can see my screen, right? Yes. Okay, so if you go to youtube.com and let me get my uh, my keyboard here. If you go to youtube.com, and I know it's up already, but I just want to show you what it looks like. If you go to youtube.com and search McDonald's OTP. Hopefully you'll see the little Big Mac and that's me. And that's my little little YouTube uh, site. You go on there and you could subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you get all the notifications that when something goes up. So when I post a new video up, um, it's gonna come up. Uh, last month's customer recovery video is on there. The daily cleaning of the shake machine that we did last month was on there. And the entire company meeting in, in its whole entirety is there as well. Um, if you want to know some other stuff, there is some other videos that I have in there. Um, how to sign any agreements, how to do, um, how to do the, how to know the voice on there, um, the pro and production video we did last month, uh, and others. So feel free to look at it at your leisure. Um, but that's how you're going to be able to get anything that I uh, post um, on the YouTube site. 
So um, that being said, um, before I hand it over to John and let him take over the show, I've been getting some questions regarding Fred and campus uh, from many people, <laughs> from crew trainers all the way up to store managers on on how we kind of log in and and all this. There's a lot of a lot of misinformation out there, I guess is the right word, um, or misdirection. So I really want to go over, I think it'd be wise to go over the, uh, the login procedures for Fred, at least Fred, uh, because there is difference uh, between Fred and campus and how to log in. Um, so let's talk about the difference of the logins between crew trainers and shift leaders, because they are quite different. Um, if you're a crew person or a crew trainer without an EID, um, and an EID, if you don't know what an EID is, an EID is an employee identification number that usually starts with the letter E. Uh, although I have seen some out there that actually start with EA, that's very rare, but most of them start with the letter E. Um, um, however, uh, just one note, if you're trying to log on, um, log on to you with your phone, um, I've noticed on certain phone models that if you don't turn your phone sideways, you're not gonna see the crew login that I'm gonna show you. It won't show on the top. Um, so just be careful with that. Try and turn it sideways um, and then you'll be able to see both sides of the screen. Um, it's very, very odd, but it's very, very rare, but I have seen it before. Um, the browser that you wanna use on your phone or your laptop or whatever, you really wanna use Chrome. Um, I, I found that Chrome uh, by Google seems to respond the best in most situations. However, some of the older videos on campus and Fred, sometimes they only work on Internet Explorer or Safari. So do yourself a favor. Start with Chrome. And if videos don't play, try a different browser and see if they work. But definitely start with Chrome. So let's jump over to the computer real quick. Um, and I'm going to go over the login screen. Then I'm going to hand it over uh, to John. Um, and uh, let's take a look. So when we share, I'm going to share the screen again. Okay, and we're gonna go into Fred at mcd.com. So I'm just actually gonna take Fred, and there it is right there, fredatmcd.com. So I'm gonna go into there. Oh, sorry, I gotta I got clear my browser, I apologize. You may see that, but that wasn't supposed to show up till later. And we're gonna do an incognito so it doesn't show anything. There we go. So we're gonna do Fred at mcd.com. We're gonna enter, and there is the login page. Okay. As you can see, there are two different sides to the login page: one on the left and the one on the right. Okay. So as long as you have a an um a registered email in e-restaurant, you will be able to get in under the crew login page. However, it needs to be put into the computer at work. So if you don't know, or if you don't have access and you think you should, uh, please tell your store manager so they can input it correctly uh, so you can gain access. However, again, a personal preference of mine is that everyone uses a Gmail account. There have been issues with every other mail provider that I've even tried with, um, except Google. So my suggestion would be to start a Gmail account. If you don't have one, uh, that's fine. And you don't want to use one, that's fine. Uh, there are other options on there. Sorry. There are other options on there that um, you can access different accounts, such as uh, your Microsoft account, which would be Hotmail mostly, or there's some live out there, if I remember, if I'm dating myself. You can log in with your Facebook profile. There's your Gmail or Google account your Yahoo email, or an Apple ID, such as iCloud or me or Mac.com. But I find that the Google accounts and the Gmail accounts are a lot more stabler than the rest. So I would tell you to try that and, and get that. Most people do have a Gmail account, but every time I try and log somebody in with an Apple ID, such as iCloud or Yahoo IDs, there have been issues with their servers or, or some of the communication. The Gmail, so far, lucky, uh, probably will have a problem now, but but most likely will not have a problem with the Google account. So once you get onto the login screen, you can choose whichever platform platform you have. So I, I this is going to come up with an error because I don't have one, but I have a Gmail account. So I'm going to click Google. 
Click OK. Uh, somebody wants to come in. OK. Click OK. OK. And then you're going to put in your Gmail account. So my Gmail account, um, if I can remember it. And you put in your email account. That is my email account. In case anybody wants to know, that's my email account. So hit next, put in your password. And my password is something crazy, so I'm not going to put it in there. But okay, you will put in your password for your email account, whatever password you use. That will work here. You hit next, and that will get you in to Fred. And that's your direct login to Fred. Okay. Now, if you're a user with an EID, which means you're a certified swing manager or higher, we'll go back. Okay. Again, we're not going to use this side. We're going to use this side. Okay. And this is what I have. So you're going to put in your E number and, and your password. And it's the same one that you use at work to log in the computer at work. And give it a second, it's gonna look like it, it, okay, there you go. So now you're in Fred. So that's how you log into Fred. And it's real important that we kind of filter this down to not the, not only the rest of the managers, but uh, the other crew trainers and the people that wanna be crew trainers. Um, so they know how to do it. And for those that are crew trainers that don't know how to log in, I would, I would question you on on how you actually are, are training because you really should be using this almost every day. Um, it, it's real important and it's a great tool. Um, and I know John's gonna go over some of the things that's gonna help you with your development. Uh, but when you're trying to develop your crew and everyone wants to know why our crew people aren't as good as they should be, well, did we train them right? Did we use Fred? Did we show the videos? Did we follow up with verification? Um, it, it's a lot of stuff to do, but in the long run, your crew will be more effective and you'll have happier people that work there, therefore happier customers, and then we'll all be a lot more happier. So did, did I get that right, John? Got it right. <laughs> oh, because you haven't said anything. Was I talking too fast? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm listening. I'm listening. Oh, good, good. All right. So, so now that we got that out of the way, as far as logging, I'm going to, I'm going to unmute for a second. I'm going to, I'm going to throw out some, uh, you know, leave it open for questions for a little bit. Um, and you guys could all unmute if you want. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to unmute. Um, and we'll give it a couple of minutes and uh, see if anybody has any questions just about the login. Um. So Dan, just just uh, to clarify, the login on the crew side that is for crew trainers who do not have an EID, not just regular crew, correct? Correct, correct. Yeah, it's crew trainers. Anybody who has a, a six forty eight, which you guys are crew trainers, that's a code that we use um, to to signify that you are a crew trainer. Uh, you could log in there with any sort of email as long as you are put into the system with that email. It's got to be the same or else you won't get access. So if you miss up a letter, I've had a couple of people out there that gave me missing an underscore or missing a letter and they're wondering why they can't log in Fred. You have to have the same email for everything. So very, very important. Yeah. So we got as a heads up, it's good that you check the emails now because the emails, um, we have a loyalty program coming out soon. And yes. when, it, when it's rolled out into New York because crew gets points too. And I think they're going to have points for when they do the learning. So yep. it's important that the email is correct. So get a little jump start on that. Yeah. So if they're doing a loyalty thing, John, I think we should have like 15,000 points by this point, right? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know there's some other people long, long term is out there that have been 10 plus years. I know Sharon's sitting there hanging out in the background. She's got a lot of years. Um, let's see who else is out there. Jess, what do you got? Like two years? Yeah, you got to unmute though. So you can just put your hand up on the number of six, six, six years. Yeah. Okay. Six. So the, lo the loyalty program is for purchasing, purchasing food for customers, but they're also giving points to our crew people and teams. So. 
I see. I see. Anna's having a fun time over there. I don't know what's going on with Anna's camera. She's like <laughs> laughing and going crazy. All right, so I'm so, having so, fun with you. Then I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. We you, you forget we could see you. Yeah. Well, no. Okay. Okay. So um, if there's no questions regarding um, how to log in, um, so so now everybody knows how to log in. Um, please filter that down to your people. Um, so they know, so when I ask them, what was the last class you did? They don't say what class. <laughs> so, um, so John, um, it's all yours. Thank you. And I see you have a chat box here. I think you can put a report on e-restaurant to tell you everyone's email in the system. That was from Sharon. Good point, Hold Sharon. On. Yeah. And e-restaurant, you can pull everybody and see their email and you can yep. verify that way just so you know. And since we have the lines open, why don't we go ahead and what are the most common questions that you guys get from Fred? So I get an idea of what to review when I do the hands-on. And uh, guys, if you're, if you're in the store and you're, you're up front, like Mammy, I'm muting you, Mammy, because you're too loud, so. <laughs> what are some questions that you guys get or that you have personally about Fred? Or what are some challenges that you guys face? Bueller? I'm trained to be silent, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I have a question. Who is, who, is, who is I? Me, Anna. Anna, hi, Anna. So for the whole Fred situation, we changed the videos for like reading, right? Do we have to read the whole? thing because I usually just like explain to them as I'm like going through it I don't understand the question that the videos are changed to reading what do you mean yeah we don't have any more videos for like the when you're training someone well, there are some videos um, well, I don't see them in our source you get, you're getting some feedback Anna huh you're getting some oh, feedback it's because I'm next to Angel <laughs> All right, well, separate. Tell Angel to that's move. That's the reason why we can't hear you. you. You just said there's no videos as far as Fred is concerned? Yeah. Okay, so the first tab, a uh, second tab, I believe, on Fred um, is videos. So I know that for a while, the videos kind of disappeared for a little bit. That was a glitch on Fred. That's been fixed for about, about two months now, if I remember right. Well, we'll go, we'll go through it, Anna. And, and if you see yep. something that you remember that was no video, you can always jump in and say, right there, I didn't see a video, okay? There but there go. are videos on Fred in all, in all areas. Any other what questions? What questions do you guys have? All right, I don't think there's any other questions for right now. Okay, and you can always put it in the chat box. And if you could watch the chat box, uh, Dan, that would be great yep. for questions. So what do I do? Do I share my screen? Just hit share screen. Uh, I believe I put it. Well, yeah, you should just hit share screen. I believe it. I think you could do it. Okay. Tell me if it says you can. Okay, share. There you go. Yeah, I see your screen. Okay, so let me... Slideshow. Slideshow. Oops. So that's me when uh, I'm able to uh, visit restaurants and I'm all cleaned up. <laughs> that, well, that's there, there you are. <laughs> there I am. When I'm all cleaned up, my hair is done, no hat. So welcome everybody. Just a little bit about me. I am a learning consultant. I've been doing it. It's, uh, my anniversary is now. I've been here four years now in training. But I do have 25 years of McDonald's experience. I worked at a restaurant for an operator. And my last position with them was director of operations. And I joined the corporation four years ago and I've been doing the consulting on uh, training and I teach the classes. I do LGR in Chicago. I miss it, but we're getting ready to do virtual. So I'm excited to be here with you guys. Uh, what a happy face, Elizabeth, you have. I'm glad we have cameras on so I can see happy faces. I know it's hard because we're on video, but I'm just going to go through really quick. Um, we all know about my McDonald's. I'm not sure if you guys, this is part of the 
mitigating workplace for violence and for respectful workplace. Uh, and it's, there's one state, uh, state specific. There's also bullying intervention and they added bystander intervention. These are great tools to help you level set uh, some of the expectations that we had when, when it comes to respect and being uh, safe in the restaurant, especially bullying. And what do you do as a bystander when you're observing some of these things? So it's good that everybody watches it. There's, there's, different, um, there's a different section for managers and managers get an automatic credit when they go to campus. However, crew, they need to, you have to assign them credit, which we'll talk about in our presentation. Just wanted to give a blip on that. Are you guys utilizing my McDonald's? Dan? Uh, I mean, can you hear me? I'm sorry. Yeah, I hear you now. Okay, Are yeah. You use, you use uh, my McDonald's? Yeah, we actually started using the whole uh, the whole checklist, and it started to pop up on the um, the uh, SSR, uh, TLR, the the, mm -hmm. the the training tracking, the TTR. Um, okay. So, so that's one of the things that they have. They actually have to watch them. I, I don't let them go to um, LTC uh, without finishing the My McDonald's uh, stuff. Perfect. Even though, even though it's not, I don't, I don't believe it's a requirement um, for to, to go through. I, I want them to see that because, especially the the uh, safe and safe and respectful workplace that the two of them, the one that's st state specific and the one that isn't, um, yeah. it's it's really super important because they, they're becoming. I think it's becoming more of a an importance that, that we kind of got away from training our managers the ones that are coming up um in these types of areas um and then by the time they get to running their own shifts it's too late and they already got the old bad habits so yeah so i think it's good that we're getting this implemented again yeah and in today's environment it's just it's just smart to have be level set on some of these things that are happening in the world, you know? Yeah. So great. Thank you. Um, it is not required. It's recommended. Just a quick note, the name My McDonald's, it's going to change a little bit because My McDonald's is going to be part of the loyalty program. So they're going to change that section. So just look out for that. That's coming soon. So here's the roadmap. Very simple. It's new. It's updated. Let me see if I can close, move this because it's covering my screen a little bit. Okay, great. So virtually the crew training program is right on top and that's pretty new. And then you have your hospitality module, your foundations, everybody learns French fries. And this is the order people should be trained in when it's recommended they get trained in this order. Once they finish fries and they complete this section, then you decide, are they gonna be a service person or are they going to be uh, for production? And each of the areas have a new uh, way to verify them hospitality, uh, what's, uh, it's a little different. It has the make it promise and it has a printable learning module. And you can see, uh, it says that it starts with you because you have the customer experience, how to elevate that customer experience to making it right, make it special and make it fast. What's really cool about the hospitality is that it's now integrated in every station that we teach. There's a hospitality verification and it goes back to everything they learn in hospitality as a foundation is integrated into each station. Um, the verification kind of looks like this. Um, it's, uh, I have it in three pages here. So you basically put the name, the date, you answer some questions here about the station. And as you can see, it has the make it promise area, make it fast, make it special, make it right. And as you check them off, they get points. Uh, they must get uh, anything 10 or above to get verified. And you can even put notes, leave comments. And if they don't get, they have zero to nine points, they're not verified on that station. So you cannot assign the credit. Now this is printable or you can save it as a PDF uh, as you verify people. Assigning the credit is important because that gives them credit that they know the station. And it really helps the learning manager who does scheduling Whoever does scheduling in your restaurant, when they're not sure, they don't know everyone in the restaurant, but if, when you don't assign that credit, they'll say, oh, I think Sally knows front counter and I'll put her on front counter. And then that manager, well, Sally doesn't know front counter. So then it kind of throws off the schedule, right? So it's yeah. important that everyone knows that what, what level of uh, training they have gotten and that's the way to do it with the assigned credit. 
once you assign the credit, it lets the scheduling, uh, the schedule, the e-restaurant know they're at a level three, they're good, proficient on the station, they can do it. And if they get better at it manually as the learning manager has to go in and make them a two or a one to make them as they become more proficient. Another key thing about, see these orange circles here, if you look at them, if they don't get that section, if, you, if they click on that orange section, it will take you back to the area that they need to review. So those are really cool features. Uh, and here's the training tracker. This is the proficiency chart. This shows where people have been trained. It even tracks your My McDonald's Foundation. See, if you see bullying intervention, et cetera. <coughs> I call that a little French fry mark. When you, oops, when you have that French fry mark, that means they're not trained on that station. A green check is that they're, they're trained. And it's just something good to have in your crew crew room, like we used to do back in the day, Dan. Remember yeah. with the stickers, everybody's the name? Big, the big book. Yes. <laughs> the big book. Is anyone from is everyone familiar with the training tracker? And if so, who would like to share how do you utilize the training tracker? Who can share with me? We we have a relatively shy group sometimes. So <laughs> they don't look shy. They're New Yorkers. Okay. <laughs> I, I know, I, know, I know Rachel and Anna probably out there <laughs> are the ones that like to talk a lot. So <laughs> we can choose people. That's up to you, Stan. Dan. I call you Stan for a minute. Uh, Stan, Stan's taller. Do you guys use this uh, proficiency chart in the restaurants? Is this something that you um, it, it's it's a it's a really really it's a ball up a tall hill right now with this. <laughs> so. Um, uh, you know, it hasn't been, I use it and the supervisors use it to look at it. Mm -hmm. um, the GMs are hit and miss. So that means the store is hit and miss. So, you know, it, it's really, you know, we talk about it here in these meetings and the people that are coming to this, these meetings on monthly meetings have had some exposure to it, but not as much as we'd like, obviously. Yeah, so I, I recommend as you get your training going in the restaurant and you get more comfortable with Fred, because it's always good for you to know and practice yourself. Your crew trainer, you can have one of your, your best crew trainers can print this report weekly. It doesn't have to be you guys. You just have yep. to teach them how to do it. So just the best bet. That's what some people do. They call them crew chiefs in some stores where they're in charge of the crew trainers and they print this chart. But it's a really good tool. It keeps the, the crew engaged. They know where they've been trained and they'll, they'll trust me. They'll tell you, Hey, I haven't been trained. The chart says I haven't been trained on this. Yes, I have. Can you verify me? Yep. So they'll keep you on your toes. Just, just the best bet. So in the crew training for crew trainers, speaking of crew trainers, that is in the roadmap too. You can see it up here, crew training module. There's the module, there's the learning journal. I highly recommend that your managers look at the coach's guide. It mirrors what the crew trainer does and it gives you tips on how to train them. And basically uh, the crew training program is redesigned and it's uh, what is their role? Do you have the crew trainer, what is their role? The training essentials, what skills and knowledge do they need to be successful? Then it goes into training excellence and then coaching for performance. How do I coach? Because we coach people differently, everyone is different. And once to get certified, once they do the curriculum, uh, then they conduct a triad session with the coach, with the crew trainer. They train them and they see how they train. Then they do an evaluation and they do a knowledge assessment and print their certificate. And the role as a coach is to ensure that the crew trainer has done all the foundational learnings on Fred. Make sure that the subject matter expert in the area, they're going to be a crew trainer because they don't necessarily have to know all the stations. They could be the SME in service or SME in food and just continue their development as they go along. And then they have to be assigned a 648, as Dan mentioned, ensure their email is updated. And even before they start crew training, you wanna make sure they have access to their login with Fred. Uh, Dan mentioned a lot of the barriers is uh, emails are incorrect. They don't match. That's one. A lot of times the crew trainer forgets their password. So mm -hmm. it's just a matter of resetting their password. Yep. 
Uh, and then you verify the crew trainer. Once they're verified, they are able to take the, the assessment test. I think they need an 80 or better to pass. Yeah. They can print their certificate. It looks like that. Now, good Yesenias, which she says hello, Dan. She said, make sure you tell Dan I said hello. <laughs> I miss you, and sorry. then uh, I'm not sure if everyone's aware, we have an incentive in Stanford. The crew trainers that you get verified, if you send us a copy of them holding the certificate, send it to me because I'm your learning consultant, uh, you will get a pin that we have, a special pin that we'll send out to the crew trainers. And that picture, I like a group picture because we can uh, give them recognition in our monthly newsletter. And that's optional. But the certificate, if you send me the picture of the certificate with them, I send you a pin for their efforts. So it's a good incentive that we have going on in Stanford Field Office. So I have Let's Practice. So let's, let, let's go into a live demo. And I'm, I'm logged in with mine. A uh, couple of things on Fred. Uh, met, Dan mentioned a bell in uh, YouTube. There's also a bell here too. So when any updates, if it's a red mark there, that means it's been an update to Fred. So it'll, it'll inform you. Another good thing to know as a crew trainer is to sometimes check over here. Make uh, sure that uh, it's you. Hold on, uh, John. We, we still have your slideshow up. Oh, okay. Uh, how about, uh, new share. New share. Okay. There you go. Great. Okay. So I logged in with my EID, of course. What I was saying, this little bell here. Yep. You get a little red mark when there's been an update. And a good best bet is to always have the crew trainer check that it is them logged in. Because sometimes uh, the computer they're using in the restaurant saves the last person who was on. So if they're doing any work on shift leadership, for example, that has improved. So I'll show you when we get there. But you want to make sure that the crew trainer is logged in with their mm -hmm. name so you know which crew trainer assigned the credit or verify the person. That makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so let me, and you guys could follow along. You should be on Fred on your laptops if you can. So you could follow along. And basically, crew training, there's where the roadmap is. Another best bet is if I go back, um, I have some start if i go see i have all all the modules come up everything that's in fred but since i i have some stars if you see there's a star next to the modules that you use the most some are not starred so that way if i go to star only the ones that i use the most come up so it's not so overwhelming that's just the best bet another feature that you can use that not too many people are aware of you can view as a list, which I don't like, a list system, I don't like that. Or you can view as how I had it with the modules. And over here, you can look at the settings and that's where you put English and Spanish. Right now I'm gonna take Spanish off and only have English. All right, so we were going to the roadmap, crew training roadmap. Here it virtually is. Let's go into the crew trainer first. This is right there. And this is what we were talking about. It's very robust. There are videos in here that it takes you from here to campus. So you just go through, it's really good. It really shows the crew trainer what their role is and how to adjust because everybody is different. You can't teach people the same way. So I'm really some really good information here. And it goes through an order, you just go in order and it goes through hospitality, introducing the make it promise, make it promise, more ways to make it from eyes to our guests, et cetera. So going back, like I said, the coach guide, it mirrors everything that you have in the, in the crew trainer guide. So it's good and it has some extra tips for you there as a coach. And what I was talking about with the verification, if I slide down to the verification, Let's say I want to verify someone on guests. 
put the name here. The date. Okay, let's go down. So if I check them off, I'm good. If they didn't reach this one, I can choose a section. This is what I was saying that you can put what, what, what did they do? They cannot explain how to make it fast. And if you click on the orange thing, it will take them back to their learning. And I would do that after the ones they missed so they can go back and review some of those modules that can help them get a little more proficient. Go back. Okay, so then you go all the way down, you could put notes, you could reset the form, but the key thing is that you wanna either save it or print it. So if you save it, there's a little printer icon right up here. If I hit print, I can save as a PDF or I can print it. So you can save it in a file in your restaurant. That's probably the best way. If you wanna save some trees and not print all the time, you can save them and you can always show them doing performance reviews or whatever you want to do. I'm going to stop there for a second. Any questions so far? No questions. And so, so John, I guess um, when you're going through the crew trainer um, process, I, I know it links to campus. Um, Maybe you could show them the, the, the button the, or the button types that, that kind of like throw you into campus. Sure. So let's go into crew trainer. Because people will read right over it and. You read through and. Yeah, you, might have, you might have to find one. There's a video there. But that video is within the Fred. Yeah. We're looking for an E, I'll tell you, e-learning. Let's see. There's a total of eight modules that they have to complete on campus. Yep. Another video there. Another video there that's within Fred. Another video there. What is my role? I think it's under training essentials, I think is, is the first one. I think it's on the second page, if I remember right. Yeah, I don't remember where the, uh, and I took this already. I think it's the second page of this. Yeah. No, 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 go to the next page. You're, you're skipping over the whole. Uh, next page, what do you mean? So, so when you go, go back, up to the crew trainer's mindset. Mm -hmm. Go into the crew trainer's mindset. I'm sorry. Hit, uh, yeah, hit that button. Yeah, they, okay. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. You were right. I apologize. Yeah, there I was going to say it takes you. It takes you. Uh... <laughs> That's the one. I'm sorry. My fault. Okay. So when you see that hand, that's when it takes you to campus. As you can see, I successfully done it. You finish it, you launch it, you watch it, you do the activity, and then you'll get a successful. Right, so there, there are eight of those for the crew trainer curriculum that need to be completed uh, for crew trainers. Um, Correct. For LTC, there's a little bit more. Uh, for LT, there's 15. 15, yep. So, oh, you got more people trying to log in. Wow, I'm ignoring the login. <laughs> it's okay. So, and, and if you look up here, see how I have tabs up here? That's how you toggle back and forth. So a lot of people get confused here. They close it and then they have to start from over. It keeps tabs. You can just go back and toggle back and it'll take you back to where you were. So that's okay. e e pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, very easy. So there's eight of them, eight modules. And once they complete all eight modules, see there's another how to connect with the training. There's another, another little hand. You go there, it takes you back to campus. Um, you can see that I've been successful. I am a certified crew trainer. 
<laughs> you better be. I better be, right? <laughs> and they can always re-review it, relaunch if they want to see it. Something they, they they just want to get a little more familiar with, so they could that could always be done. You don't have to reschedule. Okay, since I'm in campus, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. Every general manager has access to this if they're the learning manager for each store. Is every GM the learning manager? Yes. Okay. So when you go to your homepage, I won't have access because I do not have a team. Let me see if I can. Yeah, it doesn't even show up for me. So Dan, why don't you... Um, I'm going to stop sharing. Why don't you go into campus? Because you'll be able to see and you can show them. I could walk you through. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, there you go. So right here, you'll see this section right here on the right-hand side, you have crew trainer development progress. If you uh, click, uh, Dan won't have access, you have to go in, uh, I don't know, maybe you do have access. You have to go in as a proxy. Okay, this is how I know he has it set up correctly. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Checking up on you. So once he, you, you guys click on the crew trainer progress report, you'll get um, the progress on your crew trainers. You'll see where they're at. You know, green means they completed, red means they haven't started, and yellow means they started but they're not finished, haven't evaluated. Right, so and if you don't see your name on here, that means you didn't even start it. You didn't even click on anything. Right. So there you go. You guys as learning managers of the GMs of the restaurant have access to this. So you can keep track how many crew trainers you have. And if you have nobody on your list, that means no one has done the new curriculum. If it is possible. Hey, Dan. Hey. Uh, Angelina, how come I'm not on that list? I finished this. Because you actually you're on the different operator list and you, you're actually on a list. You're just on a different list. So this said, is, okay. Yeah, so, so this is put up 221 is not on this list. Um, Christina's there. What happened? Christina's there. Christina who? Yeah, me and Connor are the same Press. age and he's on there and I'm not and we both finished. Who's that? This is Olivia Briganti. Christina Graff is from 221. Well, let's check. Okay, hold on. Because you have Jamie and Tony, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> I know you finished everything, Angie. So. I just wanted to make sure. I I know for a fact you did. So these, these stores. Actually, I don't know why you're not showing up on there. We'll have to find out. Uh, because you should have been on that other list. Because the only three stores that are on the other list is Huntington. Uh, North Lindy and West Iceland. So okay. those three stores are on this list. And as you'll see, the, this list is actually a lot smaller. Um, what about me? Who's me? I don't know. And about, me did too. Did you do any of it? Huh? Did you do any of it? Yeah. Um, it's possible. Are you coded as a... Uh, a um, as a crew trainer? I don't know. If you're not, you won't show up. So that's something. What, yeah. what is her role now? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. So. Wait, Dan, I'm a crew trainer and I'm not on there either. And I finished everything. Well, that may be a dip. Who's, is that Angelina? Olivia? No, this no. is Olivia Briganti. Well, you know, let me write all this down. <laughs> So if you're, not, if you're not if you're not showing, ask your GM to check their wherever restaurant you're in. Ask your GM to run the list, and if you're not on the list, I recommend you tell Dan Olivia. that you're not on the list, and he will troubleshoot. What yeah, needs to I'll, be I'll done. take care of that. If you're not on the list, I'll take care of it. 
So uh, Angelina, Anna, and Olivia, um, I'll talk to uh, Rhiannon and uh, Chris. But I don't be on the list because she switched me from being a spring manager. For me not being on the list, could a reason be that she switched me from being a swing manager back to a crew trainer? Uh, no, because you would still be in crew trainer, so you should be still there. Okay. Um, and so I'll look you, into that. Did you guys recently take the crew trainer, or was that a while ago? No, nah, she finished. I know I know. Angelina finished it. Like Mine was over like a year ago. Because <laughs> she was, was on the list at one point. About a year ago? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. I'll then, look at it, John. You'll troubleshoot with that. Okay, yep, so I got it. The same thing. Um, let's look at. Um, we'll look for her. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. So Dan, you have you have some some pre work to do, right? <laughs> yeah, I got some people that I need to look into. So. Okay. Cool. So this kind of report also you can since we're here we can do shift leadership too. Sure. So the GMs have access to this, do the shift leadership progress report. And this will tell you if your shift leaders are complete and certified. I, as you can see in the list here, there's a lot of reds, um, meaning they went to class, but they didn't do the curriculum. And that's why they've changed the prerequisite. Now, uh, every shift leader must do the 15 e-learnings before they are registered for virtual LT. Right but you can keep track on your GM schedule. Uh, and th this is the year, the sh it was last year and we're continuing this year. Believe it or not, the statistics, 20% of our leaders are only trained. And we've had thousands, I can even tell you, thousands of shift leaders who went to virtual LT from when we started to the end of the year. And only 15% of those leaders are considered certified because they did the 15 e-learning. The class doesn't certify you. All the learning certify you right. plus the virtual LT, just so everybody knows. So John, just a quick question to, to VLTC, uh, virtual leadership. Um, is there gonna, is this gonna, is that gonna be tracked on here eventually? Because I have people uh, that have gone to the virtual class that are still read in leadership transitions. Uh, that wouldn't be a virtual LT is tracked on here. It is there. No, every, every, every single person that I've sent to VLTC is showing up red. Can you show me? Uh, let's see in this page. Let's see. Uh, right on the next page. Let's see. Samantha went, Oslin went, I think Oslin went. Um, okay. So you, it, it would say there's two tabs. One is leadership transition. That's the old curriculum. Yeah, that's this one here. Yeah, but there's a us. There's also a virtual LT. If you see the little arrows over here, I don't know if you see me moving. Go oh, up. Yeah. Go back up. At the end of the page, yeah, click on that arrow, and there should be a virtual. There it is. No, no it's not there. No. There should be a tab. Let me, uh, I'll ask that question to the team. Okay. I've seen it in other operator organizations. So why is okay, that fair enough. up on you? So I'll, I'll, I'll take a look into that. Great. Virtual LT. Uh, who was an, give me an example of somebody that went. Do you know their names? Uh, let me see. I'd have to look at my, uh, I don't want to give you a wrong name. Um, All right. Me, so what you can do is that, I'll send you an email. Have them have them go in to their campus and go and see if they can print it if they got credit for the class. Okay, no problem. All right, because maybe they did having done the little survey because you have to do the survey to uh, print the certificate and maybe that's avoiding it showing up. I don't uh, know. The, the post class. Yeah, the post class survey. So, just an FYI. Oh, okay, uh, that that might be it then. Because I know a lot of people forget to do that. Yeah, I know. I know a lot of people forget to do that. 90, like 95%. <laughs> yeah. But I'll ask that question. That's a good question. Okay. All right. So if you, uh, we went over this. Let me go. Let me share my screen again real quick. Okay, let me stop share. Okay, go ahead. 
share my screen and we were okay. I got some people in the chat box. Um yes, Sharon, you're not on there. Um, what happened? I lost the chat box. Viewing options. So I did want to go over in in Fred. Uh, on the main page, you do have Dan, the technology genius, <laughs> but there's also a module here. There's a help module. Help. Has a lot of things about what uh, Dan was talking about. Uh, restaurant connectivity, devices that you can use, the browsers that you can use. So all the answers are here too. Um, and if you run into problems after you looked at this, then I would say, Dan, help, <laughs> help me, I'm having yep. issues. But it's usually what Dan said is the, is the browser, is the email that you chose. Those are usually the usual culprits. If we go into shift leadership really quick, just so you can see what I was talking about. Gotta move you. All right, Dan, I got to step out. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Actually, I have to go to. Well, Anna? Yeah. You're both working? That's where yep. probably been sitting out there this whole fucking time. All right, well, I, well, I'm recording it, so you can, you can check it out when you. All right. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Take care. I mean, I'm almost done. I mean, you could sit here that the dashboard change, and this is the added feature. When you first log in, you can put your name on here and it kind of shows you that it's you. And then everything is here easy, foundations, ship into overdrive, which uh, Dan and I have discussed is something that you guys do and, and yep. you, 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 you can uh, implement. And then leadership transition is at the last one. Um, here's where you register. I'm going to go there real quick. When you register, when they try to go in and register, um, it'll give you a little red uh, warning. Click here to check. And it kind of tells you you need all these 15 e-learnings. Over here, you can check the completion. I've completed everything. If they haven't, they won't have a green check mark. Although it still will show the classes that are available. And if they try to enroll, I'm not going to enroll because they will will let me enroll because I have um, completed, but if they haven't completed, you'll get another error that they have not completed. Once they're registered, everything is here for them. So here, uh, we usually send an email confirming, but over here, setting up for success, everything is here for them. Right here, the leaders, their coaches, they can do the printable participant guide. They can print it, it's there. It kind of tells them what we recommend pre-work, uh, session one. Even though they've done all these e-learnings, it's just telling them we're going to go over these. So if you need to review them, and it takes them about an hour and 40 minutes. And then the section two, it will take them about 35 minutes. This is some of the things we're going to cover. And session three will take them about 50 minutes. And these are the sections in Fred that we're going to cover. And then session four, uh, ship into overdrive, maybe review some of the tools and resources and ship into overdrive. And that should take them about 30 minutes. And then um, some technology tips when they're getting ready for class. It's all here, it's a little video. We always recommend that they're in a quiet area because uh, sometimes we get students who are working the drive through while taking class, believe it yeah. or not. And then after class, there's a post action plan where they can review their notes, they set up three meetings with their coach and they can set it up here, the three dates that they agreed with their coach. And here they write what they're gonna be stronger as in the, all the areas that we covered. And they keep scrolling down. This is when you meet with your coach and you have some feedback and some agreeing on what you're gonna change and do. All right. And that's it, that's all I have.
Uh, I'll leave it open for questions. Let's see. Do I have to unmute everybody or does everybody need to mute? There you go. You guys could unmute if you want and ask any questions. And uh, as I said, I am your learning consultant for the organization. So any support that you may need, talk to Dan. He can set something up. Um, I can visit the restaurant if that's something that's set up. If you need me to do one-on-one, -on -one, there's a lot of uh, programs that we have. You guys have attended the Train the Training Manager. We have Jumpstart Crew Trainer, and we have the Coaches Boot Camp. Yep. That gives you a little more hands-on, a little more hands-on. It goes a little deeper in what I cover. But I can also um, customize what you guys need. Um, I've done with other organizations where they selected a training restaurant, where they made that restaurant the model store, and I worked with that store, and then they duplicated it in their other stores by patch or by supervisors. However you guys feel comfortable, because I know there's a lot of stuff going on. There's yes. a lot of stuff going on, and it all it all connects, right? It all connects. Either you're short staff because you don't have enough crew trainers to train them, or you have to, no, nobody to train anybody so it's a matter of just deciding what am i going to do first second then third and keep it going so it, it gets better yeah it's, it's it's an evil revolving wheel if you get stuck in that rut that yeah. you, you know i don't have any crew trainers well you don't have any crew trainers because you don't have a training system well i have time to do a crew training system so if you don't have time to do a crew training system you're not going to have the proper crew you're not going to have the proper crew trainers you're not going to have the proper customer satisfaction and it, it all builds from there so it's, it's super important that we kind of got, you know, and I know a lot of stores out there are in that rut that, that when they, it's this wheel that just keeps on going and going and going, yeah. and, you know, it just, uh, you got to put your foot down and put your foot on the brake and say, Hey, you know, it's time to start changing something or else we're all going to get annoyed at what we do. And, yeah. that's and, and, and the key is to, to build it into your culture, make it a part of a routine in your restaurant. And then it will always happen. But take yeah. small baby steps. I heard somebody trying to ask a question. I think that was yeah. Robert. Yeah, I have a quick question. So basically, um, so when you're doing the orientation, technically orientation should be take, well, it used to be three days. So we put in the email for the crew person. So usually on the first day when they're doing their paperwork, we have to show them obviously the, the hospitality, the, the food safety, the safety videos. They don't have access to that because their email isn't in the, in the system yet. How long does it usually take 24 hours for the email to once we put them into the system? So that Robert, rem remember the crew is not the one that's going to go into Fred. Your crew trainer who's assigned or your manager mm -hmm. logs into Fred and they can do the learnings and they assign the credit to that person. So then it'll automatically just pull it from their, from their names and it gives them the credit automatically. Yeah, so when the crew trainer goes in and assigns the credit, they'll get a list of employees. Yep. They, ch they choose the employee that they're, they're training or did the foundations and okay. assign the credit. And that's all they okay. need to do. Perfect. Okay, so then I'm yeah. good with that. But just so you know, it takes 24 to 48 hours for the, the communication from e-restaurant to campus to connect. So. Okay, that's good. All right, that's all I had. Yeah, and just uh, keep weekends and holidays in mind too. It's usually one or two business days. So, yes, good point. Any other question? That was a good question, Robert. So I see at the bottom it says employees must utilize spreads during their scheduled work hours, not off the clock. Mm -hmm. I think that might be part of why a lot of people haven't done it. Uh, besides from a lot of people probably not knowing they have to do it. Like it was only recently that I learned that I had to do e-classes because no one told me. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, a lot of times uh, you don't really have time at work to do it. So like I know I would be able to complete my courses better doing it at home rather than at work. So Elizabeth, you're a crew trainer? No, I'm a shift manager. You're a shift manager. Yeah, Elizabeth runs the overnight over at um, North Lindenhurst. 
Okay, fantastic. Kudos to you. I don't know how you overnight guys do it, but <laughs> I just do one and I need five days of sleep. <laughs> so I, I give you, I, I applaud you guys who do overnight. Uh, it takes uh, stamina to do that. But anyway, um, what I recommend, Dan, is that your GMs who does the schedule incorporate their learnings into the schedule. So if, if Elizabeth works overnight from 11 to 7, let's say, for example, from 11 to 12 uh, or whatever, there's another manager there. She should be on the computer in the restaurant while another manager is watching the shift or sure. however in the morning, however it is that you want to work it out. And don't think that you need to spend the whole four hours on the computer. Trust me, I've done all the curriculums and the way I did it, little intervals, 30 minutes every day. Okay, 30 minutes, but it was scheduled on my calendar. So I know that if I worked 11 to 7, Elizabeth at 6.30 in the morning from 6.30 to 7, that might not be an ideal time because you're going to be tired. You do a little bit of the training and then you just do it the next day. Every day you do a little bit and before you know it, you're done. Yep. It, just, it takes about four and a half hours to do the curriculum. But if you do it in bite size and uh, it has to be scheduled. It's yeah. a good thing to be scheduled. Yeah, don't, don't, number one, don't think that you should be you know, everybody's got a life. Everybody's got, you know, that work-life balance is super important. So you want to make sure that you kind of, um, you're doing the stuff at work. Um, and, and again, to John's point, making sure that uh, it's, it's scheduled so you're able to get it done. And, and Liz, I know on the overnight, you're by yourself. I mean, there's, there's, <laughs> there's, there's no way about you. You're yourself with two people sometimes, maybe three if you're lucky. Um, and, uh, and there's no way you're going to get it done, but let's think of it this way. If somebody was scheduled on a Monday night, not three to close, maybe five to 2 AM and is able to watch the floor for you for 35, 40, 45 minutes. So you get some done. Maybe that's something that, that can be done in, in North Lindy. I know Orly does the schedules over there. I'm sure he would have no problem, problem doing that. And so. Elizabeth, what time do you normally start? Uh, 11. So if she starts at 11, another recommendation, instead of your shift starts at 11. So maybe you can start at 1030. Yeah. 30 minutes before your shift, you do some of your learnings. And then at 11, you take over the shift. And maybe you leave a little earlier at 630. There's ways to adjust the schedule to accommodate your learnings. Like Dan said, we want people to have a quality of life. We don't want you to be home doing work mm -hmm. for McDonald's when you should be enjoying yourself. Unless if you're like us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, 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 we're workaholics, so. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I just have to do the shift leader training roadmap. I can skip over the crew trainer. I would not suggest that. Um, I would tell you that you really should know, especially on the overnight. If you, you know, God forbid, if you get somebody on the overnight that you want to promote to a crew trainer, you really should know what they're learning. And because they're going to come up to you and ask questions about stuff that you're not going to have any idea what you're talking about. So you got, you, I would tell you to do the crew trainer curriculum and the, uh, the shift leadership curriculum as well. Um, just okay. to get you, just to get you knowledgeable to the point where, and there's a lot of good stuff in there. It has nothing to do with crew training. It has like stuff about difficult conversations with the crew that you're going to have on the overnight. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, not, not only on the overnight, but everywhere, everywhere you go, there's, there's a lot of different stuff in there on how to handle yourself um, as somebody that has some sort of responsibility for the restaurant. So it's really, really important that you kind of get that foundation of training in there. It's really, it's really good stuff. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a learning consultant. I'm supposed to know stuff and I had to do all the curriculum and it yeah. was good that I did because it just refreshes you. It's like, oh, okay. This is what they're learning. So it keeps you keeps you sharp as a manager. So if you, somebody comes as for the question, you know what to say. You know where to yeah. go. Good question, Elizabeth. Good questions. What else we got? Anybody else? I, I think Rachel's got her hand up. Is that a hand up, Rachel? Yes. Okay, just watch the, watch the feedback, though, because I think you got some stuff going on. And I got to separate from the people that I'm working with. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, so I just, um, I was working with my crew trainers, and we were, work, and I, we saw that the hospitality, you know, you showed that it's, like, all new. And when we were trying to verify them, it, it doesn't come up to verify it. 
like when you for the t for the ttr it doesn't let you verify for hospitality when you're trying to choose a course it doesn't come up what what, what do you mean by trying to choose a course i'm gonna look at that real oh, quick you know when it says um verify um assigned credit i think it is yeah right? assign credit sure uh-huh so when you hit there assign credit it's supposed to tell you the course that you're assigning the credit for. It will be hospitality, but nothing shows up. So I didn't know it was a glitch, but we've been trying for like the past three weeks and it's been the same problem. So Rachel, can you share your screen? Oh, for me to, okay, perate. So give me one second. Let me... <laughs> you know, I, I need to... She said perate, I love it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to, let's see, let me look it up now. Can they share screens, uh, Dan? Or, or... Uh, I believe yeah, I, I could. Actually... Yeah, she should be able to. Okay, good. Yeah, if I hit the button share screen, I just got to log into ISP real quick. You said hospitality, right? Yeah. I'm actually logging in now. I'm going to see. And this is good. Um, I'm sorry I went over the hour, but I think it's important that we have these hands on. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's not there. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, because we've been, I've been really working on my crew trainers for this past like since November, we've been really trying to get all these crew trainers, you know, on shape and working all these classes. Every week I take a different. Um, well, it looks like it's only course. hospitality, though. Yeah. The only problem we've been having is with hospitality. All right. So, you know what? I'll show I'll show I'll show my screen since I'm there already. Oh, thank you. Because, yeah, so my thing is like taking forever. Yeah, no problem. And let's see. So. John, just so just so you know what she's talking about. When you go into the hospitality verification. Yeah, I just wanted to see because I think this is not the first time I heard this. All right. So if I go back, I go, go away. Oh, what, what's going on here? It's acting funny. All right. So if I go into hospitality. And I go under the check it and don't worry about all the errors that you're going to see because that's just mine. That's okay. Okay, that, that's me. Don't worry about that. Um, if I go to assign credit, I don't there's no see hospitality your, I, here. I don't see your screen. Oh, you don't see my screen? No. Sorry. Because normally when you assign credit, the station is there. Right, so this is the, um, let's see, give me a second. Yeah, mine shows the same way, like you can't- so Station verification, you go into hospitality, okay? And you go to assign credit and nothing lists hospitality. And can you search for it? Yeah, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Okay. And I think that was the first video I sent you uh, um about a week ago yeah i i just uh i just copied the screen but yep. i'll get you i'll get you some answers thank it's you all, it's only the hospitality one all the rest of one says crew quality or whatever it says it's yeah just uh, the, uh, when you do another one does it, let's go to fries go to fries yeah. does it does fries automatically appear it should yeah fr fries does yeah, i'll show it to you the train road map fries and uh, check it Check it. There we go. Station verification. Uh, fries. Don't worry about that. That's me. And assign credit. Fries. Okay. So that's fine. Okay. All right. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll escalate it. Thank you for that question. Any other questions? No more questions? I know we ran a little late today. I want to thank everybody for, for hanging in there. Uh, looks like we had at, at the high was 29 participants. 
which is beautiful. Um, you know, I remember when we had our first one last month, um, I thought we were going to have five people on. We had about the same. So it was nice to see uh, a couple other new stores pop in. So that was nice. I see uh, Sayasa came in, um, uh, 221, South Lindy, North Lindy, Oakdale, um, who am I missing? Uh, Huntington was in. Um, I think there's only one or two stores that didn't show up out of the nine. So, so that's good. I'll take seven. That's, out of nine. That, yeah. that's pretty good. So and um, Dan, this, is a, this is a great platform. Anytime you need me, I could, I could sit in and there's questions. They can ask me questions. If there's something you want me to present, you know, that I'm, I'm willing to do that. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, we do this on the second Tuesday of every month and we can continue doing it until I get one participant. So, <laughs> so, so, um, I, I mean, I, I think it's a good platform. I think it's a good idea for people to come on in and, and like some people get some more information that they may not get on a normal basis because it's an easy log on. You can just go right on your phone, your computer and, and just uh, jump on. It's not a mandatory meeting either. You come in if you want to. And if you want to learn something, you're here, you know? So, so that's good. why don't we do this, Dan? Why don't we commit in 90 days? I'll get on your 90 day uh, meeting and everybody can share their progress where they were at, uh -oh. How they're doing? Um, what what were some barriers? What were some successes? What can we celebrate? You know, so a little incentive for everybody, right? All right. So we got 30, 60, 90. So that would be the meeting in April. So that would be April 13th. That would be the meeting of April 13th. Cool. Um, I'm on vacation, Dan. <laughs> oh, you gotta change your you gotta change Cancel your vacation. The vacation. Who's, right. on vaca who's on vacation? Who's that? That's who's that? That's the store manager from uh, Sias. Store managers don't matter. <laughs> hey, if, if, you, if, if you're doing the training right, uh, is that Robert that was talking? That is Robert. Robert, if you're doing things right, your first assistant can step in. She's here, though. She's on there. Okay, she is so on there. there you go. So she could be on and she can share all the wonderful successes you and your team have done. Yeah, I, I thought I actually saw her hand up before. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't get to it. I don't know if she had a question. I think Shireen had a question. Maybe not. It went up and went down. So <laughs> you got it. All right. So if there's no other questions, I'll I'll leave in like uh, two minutes. If anybody's got any more questions, I'll be sticking around. Right. Um, but um, if you have any questions, feel free to go. And then next month, uh, uh, we'll do the the shake machine uh, calibration and uh, syrup lining. Uh, we're going to be doing an equipment thing every month. So that's going to be a good thing. And then uh, we'll move on from there. So um, if anybody has any questions, I'll stick around for a couple of minutes. If not, you're free to uh, go about your life. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming on. Dan, I have to jump off. I have another call. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. So send me uh, a little re uh, Tell me how you think it went. What, what went well? What could be better? Okay. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Thank you guys. Take care. Have a good week. Thanks for help, John. I appreciate it. Have a good Bye. day. Have a good day. Sell those big masks. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. You got it. All I see is Sharon's forehead. <laughs>